Hello? What's good, y'all? Master Sutter here. We creators anime review. Let's do it. Are we all creators in our own right? Hopefully not. We creators came out 2017. I believe the spring, if not the summer. I don't remember when it came. I had missed We Creators the first time it was coming out. Basically, I only hit it up after the series ended. And I finished the whole show in about a matter of two days. Right in time for my end of the year video. Which was also part of the 12 days of anime. I've been doing a lot out here, though. And I thought this show was very impactful for the type of show that it was. And at the same time, people were also talking about this show heavy while it was airing. Now, I have my reasons for why I didn't dive into the show at the time. But let's just be glad I got to it when I did. Basically, at the end of the day, recreators were too fly for me not to make at least one video about it, so let's go. There's a show every year, whether it works or not, that when it's on, you feel the way it was directed, animated, characters put together, all that stuff, wherever it came from, it is made with the intention of being the anime of the year. There's that one show, and when you watch it, it just feels different, like it's trying its best to be that tough flight shit. Shows like Attack on Titan when it first hit up. Shows like Re Zero when it first hit up. Point kind of just accounts for everything I said that has Sawano in it doing the music. <laughs> Dope ass soundtrack, by the way. Every time JoJo drops, I mean, to me, Re Creators is in that class. A different class of show that sets apart as simply about if you liked it or not, a classic. As shows come out every year, it gets harder and harder to make a top 5, top 10, even top 20. But every time you make that list, if you watch Recreators, I believe it should be considered. Here's the best thing about Recreators to me. The premise of it. The premise of Recreators. There's a bunch of anime, manga, video games, whatever. Characters running all around that bitch. Everybody's favorite characters running around that bitch. There's this one character that appears and has the power to bring these characters to life. These characters are now in real life. And before they even take out time to adapt to this world, they realize they came from this game, from this manga, light novel, anime, whatever. And the first thing they want to know is why this is this and why this is here. And you only can do that by the source. They'll lead you to the name, the creators. These characters, right to life from this show, need to meet their creators. It all goes back down to that fact. The whole thing with that, man, first of all, that was fresh as hell to me. I don't remember even watching an anime like that. It probably exists somewhere, maybe, but for anime to come out and meet the creators and have to deal with other characters like that, damn, all the time I don't remember. Maybe that's why I put it in one of my classes like that. Is there another anime even like this? Be creators, you stand alone right now, huh? And while all these characters are showing up, there's two sides to everything, right? I'll tell you, the person that brought them all up, that girl, the gray long hair and sword is flying around like about to cut your ass with a limited blade, Biakia looking ass. Or some scarlet whooping that ass type shit. Fuck the world. That's, that's her plan. Fuck the world. Basically, she wants to destroy the world. You in, you in or not? All these characters are going to eventually pick a side. You are right here or right here. Which side you on? Because they either love or hate their creator. Basically, if they got fucked up in their world, and they live in a fucked up world, and their homies are dying, they're like, what the fuck is this shit to come to this world and realize all this shit is happening because another motherfucker wrote it? If you put it like that, how would you feel? They put my foot in someone's ass. But sometimes it's Peter King. Sometimes you're the main character of a show and you got a lot of bitches running around. <laughs> How about this? Right now, think of your favorite anime. Think of your favorite anime right now. Okay, now think of the main character of your favorite anime right now. Okay, and they were standing next to you and want to meet the creator that put them in that shit. How would you feel? Which aligns to our main character of this show. Now, our main character, Sota, whatever, the high school boy that just so happened to be the first one to account this shit, he meets Socio. A Socio, I don't know how to pronounce her name right now. Who, in my opinion, is the actual main character. She's basically the character that a lot of this revolves around, basically. She's the first one to show up, so everything happens around her. She actually was the first one to fight Altair in the beginning. Those girls went head to head. And a lot of things about the characters being inside the new world trying to experience all this shit goes through her. And Meteora. I mean, Meteora is off, is off the chain simply the fact that she was named after the Linkin Park's best album. So, the information woman. Those two basically hold down the show, if you ask me. Because while MC Sota is the guy that I was just talking about having to deal with all these characters, Meeting, trying to meet their creators and go back and forth like that. The show eventually gets into, well, let's be real, if the whole world's involved and governments are involved too, huh? That, that's what, that, that's basically it in anime nowadays. Like, if, you, if you're going to try to get with the, destroy the whole world, you got to deal with all the countries, all the governments, all that stuff. Basically, you got to make it look like this. But it's, I don't want to say a big-ass war all the time, but now. The thing about that is, to fight for these two sides, to fight like that, the government basically just a... Uh, 
I guess they just provide a platform for them to do it. They gather people up. They gather the creators and the characters up, no matter how they feel about each other, to fight for that side to save the world. That's basically their involvement into it. I guess what I'm really saying about Soda is, as far as the whole creator thing, he just that guy ain't around. Now there is a big point in this show where Sota is very important because he plays a high role with the creator of the main villain, Alter. However, I try to do these reviews spoiler free, so I'm not going to get too deep into that. Basically, the creator of Alter's best friend is Sota. That's where he ties in. That's where he becomes the most important character. Until then, the characters are holding it down to be 100 about it. And they're really able to drag you into the series. Now, that what at now, as was said to me in the beginning, there are times where this show does indeed get slow as hell. Here's the thing. I could say this show got slow as hell sometimes. I could say that. But I've been 22 episodes. Like it was nothing. Like I said, that simple premise of the characters and creators going, going back and forth like that. That's what holds it down to this show. Because to beat some other characters, they have to come up with new shit. That, but they can't just write that shit out like there's no fucking... Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. And to me, that's just the realest part of this show. You have your character here. You can write whatever the fuck you want about that character. You try to change it up. But if it's not perceived well by your audience, it don't mean shit. I'm a YouTuber, a content creator myself. I also make music, hip hop, rock music, whatever. Links are in the description. Hit up my mixtape. When you make content like that, I believe it's most important to make content that appeals to your current fan base. Yes, we all want to branch out. We all want to get more people to come in. But if you can't appeal to the audience you already have, then the fuck are you doing? To me, that's the realest part of the show, to me. As they go back and forth, and it took them forever to figure that out. That's the makeup of a man, the creator, the characters, together, making the news, making the story, combining with their story, combining all these characters and creators together to make that certain thing right happen. Damn. The premise of the show is what ties you in. I can talk about all this other shit that go in. I can talk about all the other stuff, but the premise itself is to keep stacking on top of each other over and over again, making this show even better as it progresses. You can, go, you can get through the slow parts as long as you give a fuck about what's happening. How about that one? All oh, the slow, it's slow here, all oh, the slow there. Man, watch the motherfucker. That adventure is so silly, I mean. Hey. It's a pretty nice adventure. Technically, all the girls were nice after that bath episode, huh? There's not a lot of fan service in this show, but there's that one moment, that one episode, 16. That's a guy version, don't worry about it. All the anime is out to put that shit there, whatever. Man. We creators, whatever. We creators probably could have done fine without it, but I'm not mad to put it in there. How about that one? There you go, y'all. We creators get deep as hell. Anybody who's a content creator, whatever, look at the shit you made. If you ever made any kind of character whatsoever, and you had a long time thing of what you was doing, and it came to life to hit you up like, what's up? Even any alter of any character you've done. Even if you just made like a parody of a character. I rap about anime shows all the time. I make these guys sound gangster as fuck. Just looking at that. At what you said. What you did and what you put down. Stand you right in the face. What will you do? We creators. <laughs> that real shit. If you watch this video, leave a comment. I know what you think. Like this video for me and I'll see y'all. Peace out. Watch we creators.